Hello, this is Marcus with MLCCAD in Stillwater, Oklahoma. I want to take you through post-processing the results of a flow simulation study. Now we've gone through and created the study using the wizard. We set up the boundary conditions and told us told the software what was important to us. We've solved everything and the results have all been loaded. Now it's time to actually create some result plots. Now when you create a result plot, it's very simple. All you have to do is choose what type of plot you want to do and start taking a look at those results. So for instance, this is called a cut plot, and it just kind of does a section view of the geometry. Now, as you can see, I can move the value or move the plane up or down. Uh, I'll be able to rotate that. I can even change from velocity to temperature or pressure. Uh, whatever the parameter of interest is, uh, it makes it very easy to, to display that on the screen. I can change the number of colors to give it the visualization that makes the most sense for me. A cut plot is going to be a very easy thing to do, and as you can see, it's very illustrative of the areas of low pressure where we're seeing some recirculation on the the uh, the downstream side of these little openings. Uh, you'll see some high pressure in certain areas, and you can see the general decline in velocity as air is bleeding off and uh, moving down this this uh, this system. Inside these cut plots, I can also kind of visualize the streamlines by using these graphic card uh, accelerated streamlines. Now I say it's graphics card accelerated because as you zoom in or out, you'll actually see that the, num the number of lines is gonna go up and up the closer you get. So it dynamically updates and gives you the most value or the most information it can uh, given the level of zooming in or zooming out that you're doing. Uh, so you can see some pretty complicated vortexes going on in here as this air comes shooting around the corner. It creates a pretty nice uh, rotation that we can take a look at a little bit more. Now we may also want to do some additional uh, information like let's say we want to do a surface plot. A surface plot allows us to take into account all of the faces and understand, for instance, what the pressure distribution is. Now this is going to give you a good illustration of internal pressures, especially if those pressures are going to cause uh, structural problems. You can see where the pressure is going to be, and we can export those values directly to simulation to run a structural study of this thing. The housing itself uh, is not, uh, in this scenario, is not uh, uh, under structural concern, so we're not going to run that and export it, uh, but it is all available and easy to do. Another really common and useful uh, tool to do is something called a flow trajectory. Now with a flow trajectory, you're going to specify where you want to measure this, and you can just kind of, uh, usually you will use an inlet or an outlet, and specify how you want it to look, what value you're trying to rec rec uh, represent, but it's going to release all these various data points in the screen or on the part, and it's going to allow you to visually see where all that information is going. Now for this one, I'll just make it a little bit bigger. It makes it a little easier to see if we uh, make the size just a little bit bigger and uh, we maybe add a few more of them. And so that's my flow trajectory. It's a, you can actually hit play and it will animate as you move around and interact with the design. So you can see I'm, I'm uh, kind of rotating around and trying to kind of look at, at the flow and understand exactly where it's going and what's going on. So you can see a little bit of circulation, uh, a little bit of vortex action going on inside there. Uh, very powerful representation. And each one of these can all be shown at the same time as needed to really drill in and understand exactly what's going on with your system. So flow simulation results are very powerful and illustrative uh, to give you a good understanding of what's going on in your system, where there might be some issues, and allows you to really dig in and investigate the functionality.